and from the snowy conditions in the United States to the not so snowy regions of the Arctic. A new study says that polar bears are in fact starving. Normally polar bears hunt on ice sheets in the Arctic Circle. They munch on protein and fat rich seals. But global warming and climate change means longer periods without ice and now polar bears have to eat berries, fruits, and smaller animals they find on land. Human activity is to be blamed for the snowless Arctic. So what does this mean for the future of polar bears? Here's our full report. Polar bears are at the risk of starvation. The climate crisis is melting ice sheets in the Arctic. Polar bears would use these ice sheets as their hunting grounds. The usual prey were protein and fat-rich seals. But as global warming continues, the ice sheets continue to melt faster than ever. During the summer months, polar bears are forced to migrate to land. And instead of finding tasty, scrumptious seals, the bears have to settle for tiny snacks like berries, fruits and small animals. This means that they aren't able to consume the calories that they need and remain in a deficit. Polar bears often use the summer months to put on mass as they prepare for the rough winter. But with only small treats available on land, the polar bears have no choice but to eat what they get. And a new study has found that this is leaving the bears hungry and causing starvation. The research suggests that 19 out of 20 polar bears have lost up to 11% of their body mass on average. The new diet which the bears have to adapt to is to be blamed for this problem. Foods particularly that they were getting when they were on land have pretty low caloric content and the bears have to expend energy to obtain them. So out on the sea ice, they're primarily a sit and wait predator and they're eating primarily the fat of seals, which has twice the calories of protein and carbohydrates, which is what they are primarily getting when they're on land. Similarly, when they were swimming out into the bay and encountering carcasses, we found that it was difficult for them to eat those carcasses while they were swimming. Um, and, you know, they're getting a single carcass over a three week period versus, you know, catching seals every few days out on the sea ice. Shrinking ice caps is a major concern for polar bears and Arctic wildlife. The bears are struggling to adapt to climate change. Climate scientists are worried about the patterns that they're noticing. I think our study confirms kind of previous evidence that they're not very adaptable to spending time on land, um, that there's going to have to be other changes that would have to occur. They're going to help them withstand, um, you know, spending longer times on land. The lesser food the polar bears find, the more they become vulnerable. With ice sheets vanishing, so does their staple food of seals. Without a hefty meal that the seals provide, raising cubs has become difficult for mother bears. Partly because some of the research in my group is indicating that that is a very vulnerable link in the population. And so our concern is that once mothers with cubs uh, lose their body condition to a certain point, they stop producing milk. And all of a sudden at that point, the cubs now have to rely on their own fat reserves. There are only about 25,000 polar bears remaining in the world, and they've become an endangered species due to climate change. Global temperatures continue to rise, and the Arctic region is heating up at between two to four times faster than the rest of the world. With no ice caps, we would have no polar bears. The region may be thousands and thousands of kilometers away from population centers, but that doesn't mean the world can simply turn a blind eye. After all, ice caps and polar bears are vital for a healthy planet. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department and Capitol Hill, we know the issues. But above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.